I become obsessed with the opponent. I become obsessed with him. I think about him all the time. I think about him. He ne never goes away. Uh, in the morning, I wake up early because of him. I'm thinking about him. And, uh, and then I stay at training late at night because I'm thinking about him. I'm, I become obsessed with my opponent to the point where I fear him. I get, I'm afraid of him. Roger Huerta on October 21st. It's the 11th of October, 10 more days to go. Me and Eddie, man, we trained a while back. Started hooking up when I was a couple fights in UFC. Some of our sparring sessions in here are tougher than any round I had in a fight, you know? Eddie's the real deal. We're calling the fight hostile territory. It's like having three fighters. He's a very great fighter, a great boxer, great MMA. Any way you want to put it, man, he's great. Once you step in that cage and that door closes, your brain completely switches over. You're not thinking cognitively no more. Your body goes into flight or fight, and it becomes instinct. So if you come like a cat, Bruce and me, you make a place with him. He got a punch, so now he punch you. He would give a lot of people that's boxing now. He got records now, who's in the top 10, hell, easy. I'll make weight, I always do. My relation to suffering, I'm living life to the fullest when I suffer. Suffering, living. I might say that shit during the fight. My body's cannibalizing itself. I feel like I'm really fucking my body up. I feel like my organs are working like extra hard. Moscow says 157. My busted ass scale. Read that I was a pound over. Really, I was two pounds over. When I get rid of all these illusions in my head, all these illusions that tell me I'm not good enough, all these illusions that tell me I didn't work hard enough, you gotta throw them away. You gotta get rid of them. Anybody knows you, I'm not much of a planner. I set a goal, and there really is nothing else, so there is no plan B. <laughs>